Hi everyone, today's video is going to be on all of the gerbil toys and show you all of the toys they currently have and show you which ones are their favourites and which ones they least like and things like that. So before I go on to the toys I just thought I'd show you the things that their toys go into because I guess it kind of counts as toys. So the first thing they got is their playpen and it's just one of these colourful playpens that stretches out and you'd have seen this lots of times in videos and photos and things. And the next kind of playpen that they have that I'm not actually going to get out because it's right at the back here is this maze and you've just seen this in my Christmas presents video this is what the gerbils had for Christmas and they absolutely love it so it's a big cardboard maze and it really is a good size for them and I use this also to put some of their toys in when they're out for playtime so they absolutely love this and if you want to see this you can always look at my Christmas presents video you can see the gerbils running around it but they love this and then the last kind of play item I suppose is this travel cage and it's only little and I use this when I'm cleaning them out and I put them in here and put a couple of toys in there for them so I also use this not as playtime but just when I'm cleaning them out so I thought I'd show it anyway and other than the play pens that you've seen I also like to block off a section of a room so they can have a large play, play area and you'd have also seen me do that a few times in videos too. So this is the tub that I keep all of their toys and as you can see it's quite full. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that to one side and pull all the items out and show you each thing individually. So the first thing they have are these two fiddle six bridges and these are both by Pets at Home and one is in blue and yellow and one is in red and yellow and I think these are actually new products from Pets at Home. Then they have this coconut house that they really really love and they can have this in their cage for long periods of time because it's just so thick they can't chew through it really quickly so they really really love that then they have this little climbing frame and they also had this christmas and i actually just keep this for playtime because as you can see it's quite thin and gerbils being gerbils they will chew through this really quickly and destroy it really quickly so i literally just keep this for playtime only the next item they have is this bowl and it's in a kind of wooden house i guess i like to call it a tree house i don't know why but they really love this and as you can see they've chewed it quite a bit there and it, they just get to climb up, grab their food and then they like to go in here and eat it and I swap this around occasionally for their food bowl and they really do love this, this is probably one of their favourite hidey houses. Then they have this hanging candy cane chew toy which they got in a stocking review for Christmas time. Then they have a kebab chew which is filled with lots of different chews and they seem to really like this too and this actually used to be the guinea pigs but they paid no attention to it so I donated it to the gerbils. They have this heart chew which is just plain wood and as you can see they've really enjoyed shredding this to bits and they also got this in a stocking review over Christmas. They also have this toy that I've actually made out of bits of toys they've destroyed. So this hook and piece of thistle were from a snowflake toy that they've completely destroyed from a Christmas stocking review. And this is just a little wooden hoop that I've had for a while and they're only really interested in it if it's hanging up or something like that. They're not really interested if I just place it in the cage. So I've kind of combined the two and made it into a little hanging toy and they seem to really like moving this around and playing with it. They haven't chewed it yet but they've enjoyed playing with it like I say. Then they have their 8 inch or 8.5 inch wheel and I purchased this from eBay a while ago and I really like this because it's a really big wheel and the stand is nice and sturdy and you can also stand it up this way too but you can hook it on the cage so it spins that way. So you can put it in lots of different ways in the cage which is nice and they also seem to really like this. It's got an easy access for them and it's got little ridges so it's easy for them to run and I only put this in the cage occasionally every couple of weeks or so because T doesn't like going on the wheel and Chip does so it takes up quite a bit of space so I like to make it fair for them so one week it'll be lots of chew toys for tea and the next week it'll be the wheel for Chip kind of thing. So Chip really loves this wheel and definitely a great purchase from eBay. Then I've got this little pepper treat dispenser and I hide these treats in this and they can go in there and look for them. They also like digging in this and it's ceramic so they can have this in their cage at all times if I want them to because they can't destroy it or swallow any dangerous bits of plastic or anything so it's completely ceramic and you just attach it by this little screw at the side and they really enjoy looking for treats in this and digging in it too. Then I have a couple of fruit houses for them and these are 
for playtime only because as you can tell they are plastic and the gerbils would chew them and could possibly eat them which is why plastic can't go in their cages but these are for playtime only and they really really like them at playtime I also use the orange one a lot in their travel cage when I'm cleaning them out to kind of match the strawberry and orange one they also have this really cute lion one which I couldn't resist it's super cute and they also seem to like this at playtime too they also have this really big hamster house which I pitched from pets at home a long time ago now but also only for playtime because it's plastic but I thought this one would be great because it's a lot bigger than the strawberry and orange one and the two of them can fit in there with plenty of extra space. Then they have this seesaw tunnel which is also for playtime and they used to use this a lot when they were younger but not so much anymore, they're not as interested in it, they mostly just climb over it rather than going through it. They also have a couple of plastic tunnels also for playtime. Another really cute little house for playtime which is one of these kind of space themed houses and it's just really cute with a pink see through roof. They have a flying saucer for playtime too. I would put this in their cage but they always knock it over but T seems to really like this actually so I bring this out quite a lot during playtime. Then they have a couple of little toys so one's a ping pong ball and one's a little jingly toy and again these are just for playtime but they really enjoy knocking these around and playing with them a lot during playtime so I thought it'd be good to add them to their toy box so like I said one's a ping pong ball and one's just one of the jingly cat balls that you can get really commonly in most pet shops then they just have a spare metal ladder from their old jubilarium and then lastly they just have their box of chews that you could, could see a kind of in detail video on in my last video but they I count these as toys because they play with them and chew them and things but I'm not going to show you each one individually because like I said I've already done a video on that but this is their little box full of different chews and things they mostly enjoy playing with. So those are the Jewels toys and all the ones they currently have. They did have a few more but lately they've just gone in a rampage and destroyed all of their nice new toys so they don't have as many as they did have a few weeks ago but i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time bye everyone